Don't miss an episode of the new series, Work the World, featuring me, Violet Chachki. I have been seeing spirits since I was a little girl, and I always knew things when I was a child, and I've developed it to a place where I can help others with it, and I've dedicated my life to it. Kimora. Hi. Hi. How are you, Char? I'm good. It's so nice to oh meet God, you. Really. How are you, honey? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing today? I'm so good. Thank you for doing this. Have, you've never had a reading before. No, this is my but, first time. I'm so excited. Oh, so this is like really good because I've been doing this for a long, long time. Oh, I want to find out so much. Okay. Okay, yes. good. I'm excited. <laughs> I have had a psychic reading in the middle of the mall. And I didn't take it serious because I mean, obviously it's at the mall, but that was the only time I ever encountered someone that wants to give me a psychic reading. I am super nervous because what if she's right? I'm seeing, is there somebody that's an A or an A or E? An Eric or an Edward? Uh, um, I w Edward. Did you have an issue with this person? No, um, probably the most recent person I met. Like to date? Yes. That's why I'm getting the name Edward. Okay. When I pick up on something like this, it means that I'm tuning into the energy of romance around you. So this guy, Edward, is a go-go dancer. I just met him at one of my recent shows. So I think she picked that up because he was the last guy that I saw before my husband. So it was like, I walk into my job, I was like, oh wow. And I walked away and that's it. And he like came to my dressing room and he was like, hey, I'm Edward. I was like, hi, nice to meet you. Are you changing in here? Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. That's how we talked about. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's a new door opening for you with work. Did somebody offer you a new opportunity with work? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Did you sign a contract? Did you sign a paper? Or you're looking into this? Uh, no, looking into it. Okay. I feel like there's going to be opportunities for you with this, but I also feel like you need to be careful who you sign with or what you do or that their intent is pure. Now, I'm also getting a name that's a J, like a Jason or... John or? John. Who is that? Uh, my best friend. He's your best friend, okay. Mm -hmm. I like John mm -hmm. and I think he's, I feel like he has your best interests at heart and I feel like he's not jealous of you. He's proud of you. Yes. He's a good energy. He's like a, like a true friend. These are the kind of people that I feel are important to have around you. Yes. And you must have good intuition then. You must have a good gut feeling. I do, I follow my gut, I trust my gut. Yeah, it's really important, <laughs> don't ever doubt it. Hearing her saying, I have such a bright future, I'm like totally on board. I'm going in the right way. Keeping my circle really, really strong and small is the way to go and I'm going in the right direction. Is, is your dad deceased? I don't know. I haven't seen my dad since I was like 14. Okay, but as far as you know, he's still living. Um, I would hope so. Yeah, I think he is. Did something happen that was hurtful around a holiday? I ran away from my home before the holidays and that was when I stopped talking to my dad and came back to my mom. Okay. And my birthday is around, around Christmas. The, around yeah. Christmas, okay. Um, I feel like you had to move forward. I, I feel like you had to do that. that yeah, because he... He was abusive. Yeah, he was very He was abusive. emotionally abusive. Yeah, he didn't really accept that I was gay. Yeah, that's so sad. Hearing about the holiday situation, it was just a really poison moment in my life where I cured myself and got through it. Do I know if my dad's alive? No, I don't know. Would I try to find him? Yeah, I've thought about it multiple times. Like. Um, there was this one time when I was like, maybe like 21, where I got a weird number and I picked it up and he was, it was him and I hung up the phone because I was scared. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, I swear, he called me and I hung up the phone and I don't know if it was him, but I could have sworn it was him. And then ever, I never called it back, so. I'm a person of all about forgiveness and always about new beginnings. So, hey dad, if you see this, contact me. <laughs> Is there somebody that's an R or B? R. Is it spelled R-I or R-O? R-I. Like Richard or Rick? Rico. Rico, who is that? 
uh, my partner. I knew there was a romance around you. I just got confused <laughs> about who and what it is. Do you live with him? Yes. Does he understand that you're on a new mission with your work and everything? Does yes. Does he understand it? And he's supportive of it, right? He's 100% supportive. Yeah. I feel like he's, I feel like this is good. Is he also talking about trying to do something new with his work? Yes. I feel um, a new opportunity for him. He needs to focus more. He needs to put more energy in it. Yes. He's, I feel like he's very dedicated to you. He is very dedicated. And loves you. Yes. But he doesn't do everything for himself like he should. No, and he... He needs I've, to do that. I tell him every day. He's afraid that if you go away on a weekend or something, like, yeah. he's afraid of losing you. That is true. So you need to, like, make him feel secure that you're not going anywhere. Okay. Rico is going to love this. Everything Char said was, like, on point. I've told Rico, and this was, like, three weeks ago. Shar saying that he needs to be secure was really eye-opening because I said that to him every day. Like, he needs to stop worrying about holding on to me and being afraid of losing me, that I'm always gonna be here, and you need to really hold on to that. Is there anybody that's like a Helen or Hannah or- Anna. Anna, who's Anna? Anna's my mom. I like her. Are you close with her? Very. Yeah, she's, she's pure of heart. Yeah, she is. And she wants the best for you, and she's, you can trust her. Oh, yeah. Who's the other man? Is there another man with her? My stepdad. And are you friendly with him? Oh, I love him to death. Yeah, I like him. I feel like he's supportive of you. You're lucky that you found somebody, that your mom found him, and that, mm. that's good. That's lovely. Okay. And is Anna's mom deceased? Yes. I f were you close with Anna's mom? Very. Because she's, I feel like it's her energy that I'm feeling around you. I feel like she's there watching over you and protecting you and taking care of you. So me and my grandma were very, very, very close. When I came out, she told my family that you need to love um, your son no matter what. That made me feel so good because she was the least person I expected to accept me for who I was, she guided my way. I think it would probably take my family longer to accept me if my grandma didn't. She's handing me a rose. I don't know what that means. So did she have a garden? She did. In her in her house, she has a garden that she would maintain every single day. And okay. would give her so much trouble and, for it. And she's telling me she came to you in a dream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because when spirits come to us in a dream, it means that they're trying to guide us. I remember, you know, being 11 years old, she would be in her garden and I would kind of hang out with her in this little hammock thing and just like talk to her. We would just kind of conversate back and forth and I would just have like grandma and Von Day. My grandma's passed and it was hard, but I know my grandma's watching over me because she's like my right shoulder queen, you know, that's gonna be watching over me all the time. And, and I love her for that. The first true love is self-love. It doesn't mean you're selfish, it means your needs matter. And if you like what's going on with your career, fine, but if something doesn't feel right with your gut, speak up about it and make sure you're protected. I'm definitely going to take my career super, super serious, extra serious now, because I know it's going in the right direction. Thank you to Char. She was really, really on point with my partner, Rico, and making sure he knows that I love him and I will always be with him. Rico's got to get off his ass and do something. I tell him that every day. <laughs> Rico, get off your booty. I absolutely love you and you know this. And Edward doesn't mean anything to me. Ugh. He has high hopes for me and for us. And... and and I have high hopes for you. Yeah, thank you. I feel like there's really nice, good things coming for you. Edward was hot though.